Hello, I am Alex S, and tonight we are going to butter some of this. This is a QX95, and it runs on an F3 controller, and it should be able to take it. I want to say thank you so much to my brand new subscribers. Jesus, um, 82 people in four days, 1,690 uh, views. For me, that's just more than amazing. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching these ramblings, and let's get on with the video. This video, it's all about loading Butterfly into a little brushless, which is also can be done for a little tiny whoop, which I already did, and it just transforms everything that you got. All right, you guys, if you haven't heard it from it, go download your configurator at www.butterflight.co. Uh, and then just go ahead and do your normal setup. I'm going to show you a setup right now in less than, I'm going to say, 13 minutes. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Okay, you guys. Welcome back. Here we go. Uh, this is the website that you're going to go to, www.butterfly.co. Go ahead and download your configurator at Give Me That Butter. Um, before we continue, I just want to bring up a couple questions that I've been getting quite often um, on the page, and that is, what do I do if I don't have a board that will do 32K, or can I use this with a board that doesn't have 32K? And the answer is, of course, yes, please do so. And the one thing you're going to skip in these instructions is going to be set gyro, use 32K on, because you won't do it. And obviously don't overclock the CPU because they also won't do it. Everything else, just follow these little instructions and you should be fine. We're going to go ahead and do it together just right now. Um, this is Butterfly itself. This is how you're going to open it. These are the same instructions that I just showed you again. Except this is now, I believe, let's take a look. All right, let's go into firmware flasher. We're going to flash the little quad. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And we're gonna breeze through these guys. We're not gonna really, we're not gonna go too slow, so bear with me. So here we go. Um, I already knew what my target board was, which is, you're gonna choose your target board right here, and I have an SPF Racing F3 EVO. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit download the 3.41, um, Evil release, which is the latest one, load firmware, and hopefully this goes well on the first flash. Okay, it's 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 going. So while this is doing it, which is, should be less than sixty seconds, I just want to say thank you so much for the eighty-two people that just clicked on subscribed and been um, in tune to Butterfly because this is really changing. Um, a lot on a lot of quads for me. It's been really, really, really something else. Okay, this is all flashed and ready to go. Now we can go straight up to the welcome page and connect to it. Okay, we just read it. Okay, we're gonna. It's showing that. Let's see. We can make this a little stable. Okay, that's perfect. Calibrate. Okay. Up is up. Uh, should be fine. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we're gonna open the ports tab. I already know that this is on serial RX number two, but majority of F3 is going to um, UART number three. For some reason, this was put on on number two. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and reboot. So thank you to 82 people. Um, that's really amazing that you guys hit subscribe. And I've been kind of looking at my progress with this. Um, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun to do this, I tell you guys. It's also a little bit of work. Um, but I really enjoy this very much. So let's go ahead and get, let's get, let's get to it. This is on brushed 1600, 16,000 motor PWM frequency. We're going to change the minimum throttle to 1050. 
um, okay we're gonna go ahead and change this to four so it's matching eight and four I kind of like this setting um, somebody told me that uh, the scaling this helps out a lot uh, I'm just trying whatever works for me the best um, remember that sometimes you gotta try different things to see what works the best for you although this is a spray through um, a straight through shot if you have a brush list that you want to do okay this is going to be Q X butter yeah okay let's leave the camera angle alone or you know what let's just put 30 no that's too much for this thing let's put 20 25 okay we're gonna go ahead and do serial base receiver and this is going to be s bus because i'm running s bus I'm going to leave telemetry output on, although I know this doesn't have telemetry. Transponder off, air mode on. Uh, no, no ISC sensor. Anti gravity, yes. Dynamic filter, yes. This is the key of this whole shebang to work amazing. You got to put on the air mode, anti gravity, and dynamic filter. Save and reboot. Okay, connecting again. And now I am going to do my battery power, onboard ACC, onboard ACC. I don't think this thing has it, but I'm just gonna put it. This is something that I learned from Mr. Bardwell, and it's just approximating the number. 250 to 2350 is actually kinda accurate. Save. Ooh, I forgot the capacity. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this a 600 milliamp battery for the capacity, hit save. Fail save is next. Fail save, we're gonna go ahead and do, and always leave it to drop. Some people like to put the throttle to hold. I kind of leave it at auto, I don't really matter. Save and reboot. Next thing is PID tuning. Let's go. Um, so yeah, 82, and this is in four days, and it's something like 1,690 views that I got. Um, I'm floored. Like, I don't even know, like I'm having trouble making this video because I'm so stoked. Okay, we need the radio, so let's grab the radio. Welcome to OpenDX. Thank you. And, yep, there she is. Everything is backwards. So this is something that happens to a lot of people and people freak out immediately. Like, oh my God, my throttle is not where it's supposed to be. It's, it's easy, guys. Just scroll down. Look for T A E R one two three four. I'm gonna put my RSS side in channel number four. Also, this is something I always do. I don't even know if this is gonna take it, and that should be just normal now. You see, throttle is throttle, yaw is yaw, uh, pitch and roll. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're Kind of drifting a little bit around center. I wouldn't worry that much about it. This is a tiny little quad, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and do arm switch right now. Right now it's auto, so check this out. I'm just gonna flick the switch that I have it. It immediately recognizes it. So that's on and that's off. So I'm just gonna slide the whole thing. You see how I did that? I just slide the whole thing and that's on and off. Save my arm switch. And I kind of wanna add I wanted to add, oh, come on, you guys. Oh, God, race flight sucks. Oh, come on, get out of the screen. Oh, dismiss. Mr. Steel. Oh, I don't even know who this is. Sorry about that. Okay, so you just saw that live. I cannot fake this stuff, you guys. Um, FPV angle mix. I don't know what that is, and I always want to try it, so I'm just going to leave it right there in the middle. And I also want to add, just to play with, I want to add angle. I think it's the one that lets you roll. I'm not sure, but I'll try it and see what happens. Okay, so now in the middle and then off is full acro, which is good. There's no adjustments. There's no motor issues here because everything is brushed. And black box is going to be 
no logging, save and reboot. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. And then we are under 10 minutes at this point, which is pretty freaking incredible. So we said 13 minutes. I still have four minutes to test this whole thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at ports. Ports was you are too right. I've been told that sometimes FR Sky can get telemetry out. Well, hopefully that works. I'm not expecting it to work at all. Because it's a tiny quad. Um, but I gotta tell you, I did this earlier and I tested it and it was just freaking awesome. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do in the next minute is we're gonna do our pit tuning, um, which is pretty normal. I'm not gonna touch the pits. I'm just gonna add my rates as fast as I can. And I realized that this was working pretty good at 0.80. Oh, one extra thought. No, 0.85 is what I had. They are 1600 degrees or something like that. That's what it was working really good. 1400 and change, that's what it was. And y'all, I left it at something like 78. Uh, it's a little bit too low. We're gonna go ahead and just bump it to 80. I do like some expo and I'm going to put 20 and I'm going to put 0.15 because I do like my yaw. I'm also going to add some set D waypoint. I'm kind of 0.60 to start. That's perfect. Uh, anti gravity, I want two. Um, Mr. Barwell was running like five in his squad, but I'm going to try two. See where this starts me on. Okay, saved. I'm gonna hit save again because I never saw that. Okay, that's saved. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, this is really important. Um, you guys need to know that in for order to this to work, butterfly to work well, it needs to be in PT1 D term low pass filter. You need to also make sure that the uh, gyro are not the notch filters are not enabled. And I just take everything off. Say so screw it. Less filtering, the better. The, the, the brushes don't really feel it that much. Um, so that is it. Save it again. Check the PIDs. Fine. All this I don't mind. Receiver is this, it was working. Modes were done. And we are ready to fly. Okay, you guys, that, that, that's it. That was that was that was it in a nutshell. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna leave it plug for a second. I just wanna say thank you again for um, watching this video. If you like this, please go ahead and subscribe. It is awesome. Your feedback is just incredible. Um, and also, if you have something negative to say, please leave it down in the comments. As I'm trying to improve, you gotta know that I'm doing this with almost no gear, no equipment, and I do this out of love of out of for the FPV community because um, I see a lot of newbies like myself, and I'm going to make a video tomorrow about my first squad and what happened to that first squad and to also to my friend's truck. So at the same time, I want to say thank you, have a great night, and you guys got to go out and fly some more.